In this video, we are going to create a music command center using our sharp tools, complete with album art coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be going into our Sharp Tools um, dashboard and rules engine and creating a music command center. So I've already set one up here and mine is called Echo Kitchen Music. Let's go into there and let's make this a little bit smaller. What I have here is I have different um, stations. So I can click here and that will change um, what my Amazon Echo is playing. And it will also change the fan art here. And you can see the source is Amazon Music up in the upper left corner here. Because what this is doing is it's using the Echo Speaks integration. So you're definitely gonna have to have the Echo Speaks installed on your smart things to get this working. But I already do have a video on how to set that up and I will put a card in the upper right hand corner and I'll leave a link in the video description on how to get that set up. Basically how this is working is we have um, rules and we created tiles for those rules and when we tap this it sends that rule over to Amazon and it changes the music that we're listening to and it pulls in the album art as well. So let's go ahead and create our own dashboard and kind of replicate this. So if we go over to our dashboards and let's just click on create a dashboard and we'll just call this office music and just click on the create. Okay, so now that we have our dashboard created, we need to add a tile. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some things and we're going to find our office echo office, which is here. We're going to go ahead and add that twice. So you can see that I've added it twice over here and we have a green check mark saying that it's been added. And all we need to do is click off in any of the empty space over here and that menu will go away. What we need to do here is we're going to leave one of these as a controller. We're going to turn the other one into album art for the Echo Office. What we need to do is go up to these three little dots here, click on that, click on change layout, and right now it's on currently on a music player tile. We need to change that to an album art tile. Now this is only available if you have a premium account or you have a premium free trial. And now you can see that it's changed to album art. And let's go ahead and change the size of this as well. So to change um, individual tiles, you just go to the edit, change the dimensions, and let's make that four by four. So big picture here, save. And that looks pretty good. Um, let's do just a couple other things um, before we head over to the rules engine, and let's just make this look a little bit better. So if we go down to the bottom, click on the three little dots, and click on configuration. This is the configuration of the dashboard. Okay, under settings, let's um, go to the tile size and let's make that uh, large. And let's add a background to this as well. So let's click on background image. Um, I just wanted to let you know there are some advanced features under the backgrounds now. So you can now change the opacity of the background so you can see below that it's changing. Um, you can also blur the backgrounds and you can also add a gradient. We're going to leave all these as is. Um, let's go to, go to this aerial one here and just click save. All right, so now we have a background here and looking pretty good. Now we need to go over and create some rules. And before we go create our rules, we have to be sure that we save our dashboard because if you navigate off of the dashboard and you do not save it, it will not automatically save for you. So we'll go click on the save here and now we have it saved. Now we're gonna go over to our rules engine and what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna create the rules. Um, you can see I have the kitchen ones here. 
Um, and we're going to create all the rules that we need to put on our dashboard. Go down to the bottom and hit create rule. And what I would recommend is just starting them off with the same beginning. So I'm going to go office, go to dash, and I'm going to say do volume up. And we don't need a description. Now on the trigger, you don't have to have a trigger um, because the trigger is us going to be tapping the tile. So we can leave the trigger blank. What we need to do is add the flow. And we just need to hit the plus sign here. And we're going to do an action. We're going to choose a device. And we're going to choose our echo office. And let's do our volume up. Search through. These are going to be all the options that you can do. So here is volume up. Click save there. That is pretty much done. We're going to click save on the bottom. And now if we come over to our list, we have the office volume up. Now, all the way to the right hand side, you can see these three little dots here. If you click on these three little dots, you're going to get some options. So we have edit, copy, disable, and delete. Go ahead and copy this. So when we copy this, we're going to put copy of at the top. Let's just delete that and let's make this volume down. This is so much faster to do it this way because you've already have your stuff chosen. You just need to come down here, click on the edit button, and change this to volume down, update, and hit save. Now when you come back out, you can see that we have our volume up and volume down. And now let's add some music. So we're going to go ahead, I'm just going to copy one of these again. Click on copy, and we're going to say office, and I'm going to call this radio. We got radio there. And then we're going to click on the edit button down here. And now we have to actually change our command. So what we're going to do is um, type in search. Since we're doing radio, it's going to be searching iHeartRadio since it's built into Alexa. And you can see it's got three different arguments here a number, a number, and a string. What we need to do is toggle the advanced features on at the top. And now you have some options on the right hand side. What we can do is just delete the numbers. And then all we need to do is put in a string. The Mix 97.7 is a local station here. So what it's going to do is going to go to my Echo, search for this particular term. All we need to do is click update. And now you can see that the Echo Office to execute search iHeartRadio for this. All right, and then we can hit save. And now we have that in our list as well. So our radio. And now let's add a couple more. All right, so let's make a copy of this one. Top pop. Click on the edit action down here. And now instead of searching iHeartRadio, search music. Now when you change the command, you can see that we have to Adjust this stuff again, and it's going to be top pop, and click on the update button, click on the save button, and do let's do one more. If the string that you um, type in doesn't work when it goes to Alexa, you may have to just try different words or a different way of saying it. Um, I usually try and type what she says she's pulling in when you request something. So if I say play popular music. Usually she says um, the top 50 most played. All right, now that we have all of our office rules created, what we can do is go back over to our dashboards, click on our office music dashboard, and it's exactly the way we left it here. So what we need to do is go ahead and add the rules that we created to our dashboard. Let's go ahead and go down to the three little dots in the bottom right hand corner. Click on that and click on edit. All right, now we're going to go to the green plus sign and we're going to go to rules since we are adding the rules that we just created. 
and we're going to go to find our rules. So here they are. We have Office Most Popular, Office Radio, Office Top Pop, Office Volume Down, Office Volume Up. All right, that's all we need to add here. Just tap off of that. And now we need to format these a little bit. Maybe add some colors, maybe add some transparency, um, change some labels, and change the icon. So let's start out with the most popular. I'll do this one as an example, and then I'll go through and get the other ones done real quick. To get started, you click on the three little dots in the upper right hand corner and click on edit. Now we're going to change the label, the dimensions, the icon, and the color. So whatever you check here, you're going to have the options down here to now change those items. And you can move this around wherever you want it to be. So let's just call this most popular and let's change the color to be a transparent green. Let's change the icon. Um, at the top, you do have a search for the icon. So say if you're looking for something specific, I'm looking for music. I can type in music and it's going to bring all of the music icons right to me. At that one. And let's choose our size. So we're going to choose one by five and hit save. So now you can see that our most popular has changed to green, our icon has changed, our label has changed, our size has changed, and we can move it up to the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the radio and the top pop um, and the actual controller here. And we just need to do the same thing for the office volume up and down. All right, so we have all of our colors and all of our icons done. Now let's actually switch these volume up, volume down. Here, that looks better. And we have our controller here. So now let's add one more thing and we're going to add a shortcut to get to other dashboards. So we're going to hit the plus sign and in this case we're going to go to dashboards and let's make a shortcut to our family room. Done. And it's added it right down here. We're just going to make it take up this entire space here. Alright, so we have that all set up. And we have our shortcut here, have our controller here. So now what we can do is we can actually test this. So if I tap on the most popular here, what it's gonna do is gonna execute that rule. And it actually just started playing. And you can see it's playing right here. I just need to turn it down so I don't get any copyright problems. Um, but you can also just Tap on any of these and then what it's going to do is exactly what, how we set up the rules. So if we tap top pop, going to execute the rule here. And you can see it's switched here. Now if you hit the next arrow, skip to the next song. If you actually tap the album art itself, it'll pause. Now you can see it's paused. We tap it again it will play and if we double tap it it'll skip to the next song if we tap on the radio it'll now show the radio stations logo so that's how you use it you can set up as many of these rules as you want you can have it play particular songs particular artists particular genres um, you can control the volume, you can add anything that you want to this and control your echo devices. Um, this shortcut that we added here will um, jump us over to the family room. And then I have a shortcut here to get back to any dashboards that we want. If we want to get back to that music one, we just tap that. But that is pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. As you can see, it's not that difficult. But the power of using rules in conjunction with your dashboards, you can just do so many things. Um, so I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. 
and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible, and I will see you in the next video.